Well, hello there, YouTube. Check this out. 43 degrees out here and uh, foggy. You can see the fog in the mountains. That's pretty cool. You don't, don't see that. Well, I guess it is September 1st. <laughs> Go ahead and start looking like fall. Give it that look early. Man, look how rapidly quick those trees are changing up there. A couple of morning doves on, on the top. Anyway, welcome to hump day. Let's get her going. Good Lord, it's beautiful out here. Come down that hill and the fog's gone. And uh, GC's, they're cooking up some kind of breakfast thing in there that smells some kind of good. 59 and beautiful here in Vancouver. It is. It's hump day, mama. We're halfway there. We're almost at the halfway point. Yeah, at the Half end of the day, it'd be halfway. Yeah, it'd be just over, won't it? Yep. <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful Wednesday. You too, sweetheart. All righty. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Bye. This is a uh, a Riker that that Ryan's working on, and uh, there's a complaint of a rattle at a certain RPMs. I guess it sa supposedly sounds like a a fan blade hitting something. So we'll uh, take her for a rip here and see what's going on. Ryan goes, "You've ridden these things way more than me. You listen to it." He goes, it doesn't, doesn't sound unusual to me. It's got this air box rattle, which I've been able to, to shim that out of him. I'm wondering if that's what he's hearing. I don't know. Let's take it for a little rip and see. I love me 600s. I don't like not seeing around his truck. So I have a 2016 Street Glide, non-special, just a standard Street Glide. And uh, the rear um, rocker cover is leaking. So uh, we always, we never just do the one. They ordered the, the two because it's leaking underneath the rocker box. So they ordered uh, both gaskets. And uh, it comes with all the O-rings and stuff. Well, this thing's got... I don't know, 35, 38 something thousand miles on it. I'm not reusing any of those O-rings or any of that stuff. And someone even asked me about it and I said, make sure you get the kit. And at the time I, was, I had a hundred things on my mind. I said, when you call the Harley shop and we only, and I mean only use OEM parts on them, why wouldn't you? The OEM parts, are sometimes cheaper than the aftermarket parts. Why wouldn't you go OE? Not only that, the Harley dealers always, with without exception, have all that kind of stuff in stock. I'm sure there's some shops that don't, but none of the ones around us. Yep, got it. I mean, you want. <laughs> now, I'm not hearing anything unusual in this thing. Literally, the only thing I'm, if you, let me try something here because there's like a body clip that's on this outer cover there you are you can pop that thing out Let's see if we make a hundred percent of the noise go away sounds like a fan blade hitting something well, obviously when you're moving down the road the fans aren't gonna be on on these things any movement and nice people even in the city but you know this is kind of a 
you're right next the, the city gets really big well both east and west of us it's kind of a big shopping kind of thing to the east and then downtown Vancouver is uh, to the west but yeah I don't I mean there's a lot of people here it's not huge it's not like Portland or anything like that but it's a uh, it's you know, big enough and you got Portland just right across the river there but you know it's very when you see there's kids playing out in the front yard things you wouldn't think you'd see you know in a larger city crazy stuff goes on around here but it always seems to be like in the main thoroughfare areas you get out here and it's just like like you're out in the country it's just a lot of houses <laughs> but anyway they needless to say had the gasket kit in stock so I'm going to end up with an extra one of those, uh, the rocker box gasket. It'll get used. We're always buying Harleys at auctions and stuff. There'll, there'll be another one that comes along. It's possible. It's time to see my old boy. <laughs> that worries me. Yeah, there's literally no noise with that airbox just ajar. It's just one of those, uh, you know, little metal clip that goes in a square hole. If you have a new uh, um, RT, a 20 or 21, and soon 22s, uh, you know, there's a lot of those body clips holding panels on now. It's an automotive thing that's been used for for many a year now. That's what's holding this little, uh, uh, basically a garnish. It's just an outer cover. I didn't even realize it was a, a two-piece thing. I never had any reason to try to take one apart, but it is. I don't know how the rest of it pops off, but I know you can pop that out. And that's just taking the load off of there. Ryan could probably shim that a little bit. I have had a 900 that the box itself was, because it kind of clips on the front of the uh, uh, belt, the inner belt cover. And I uh, had one that was loose enough it rattled, and I was able to shim it quite easily. Made the rattle go away. It was just two pieces of plastic that kind of lock into each other and it's kind of a stay more than i guess it's a support too but it's not bolted down it has rubber bushings that kind of hold it all together and they're just making a noise and the 600 has a little more of a shake so uh um anything that's going to rattle is very pronounced at idle but that's not where he's complaining it was at at a certain rpms and Man, those RPMs, this thing's quiet. That's why Ryan wanted me to ride. He goes, Pa, I just, I don't, I don't see anything that's unusual. These things make noises, you know. It's a characteristic of the vehicle. Should we take the 600 through the, through the back alley thing here? I think we should. It's funny how many people go, why do you drive back there? Because <laughs> I like to. Do I need any other reason? <laughs> Plus it's just that much time and different scenarios that you're riding the bike through, you know, when you're on a test ride. You know I'm talking to you guys. You're thinking about it. that's why I say some really weird things on test ride. <laughs> I'm thinking about the motorcycle a lot watching things but I'm trying to have a conversation like I'm not doing it at the same time <laughs> it's fun riding the 600s I mean when you're riding this thing around other than a little more vibration which I really like it makes it feel more alive 
But uh, other than that, if you really romp on a mute, there's an obvious difference between the 900 and the 600. But otherwise, you ride the thing around, you got just as big a smile on this as you do uh, a 900. You just don't do as, as easy and constant <laughs> rear wheel spins on them. <laughs> this thing up to my boy and say son I don't see anything oh that was pretty aggressive there Dodge oh I see why you're trying to cut in front of somebody <laughs> that's the kind of stuff to get you hurt boy <laughs> shoes are still sitting there that's the craziest thing Somebody grabbed them and threw them near the dumpster, but that's a cardboard dumpster, so somebody else came along and threw them back out in the street, which seems pretty weird. <laughs> He's not even here. Oh, there he is. I don't hear anything. The only thing I was hearing was that, was that lid. All right. Thanks, Bob. Yep. Oh, come on. You're that close. You know, why do I do that? These things go backwards so easy. Why even bother putting it in reverse? I'll put her here in the lineup. <laughs> these things are a dry sump motor and people are already making the same mistake with these they do with the spiders. They, they don't follow the instructions for full temp. You need to take them for a ride, the whole gamut. And then check the oil then. They check them when they're sitting there in the garage and they go, there ain't no oil in it. Yeah, you're way overfilled. <laughs> Does not do them any good at all. Not a good thing. All right. Look at that guy. He's got the rear seat and everything. He's got the comfort seat on the back. He needs to get the comfort one up front. That'll change your life. Them things are so comfortable. Kelly and I joked around. It hey, might even be a real thing. You don't know. That's where Mustang's making those things. Crazy comfortable. All right. Got love a Riker. Ryan goes, can you ride this thing, Pops? I'm like, jeez, I don't know, man. Do I really have to ride a Riker? <laughs> All right. Just met the coolest couple that swung in. <laughs> Look how many tools this takes. I'm just doing rocker covers. Gaskets for the love of all that's holy. But um, it, it's just all the angles you got to get into things. If the motor was sitting out, it'd be super simple. But anyway, uh, from Colorado, they're up here uh, visiting in, in Washington State. Um, really cool couple. He's in the into Harleys and BMWs, and um, he's looking at at purchasing another BMW here before too long. Let's see one nasty air filter. Is that crazy or what? So, <laughs> I don't even know how this was even working. The crankcase vent hose was literally, you can still see the shape in the hose, was literally pinched off. Wedged in, pinched off. No wonder rocker covers are leaking. Look, he let that filter get so, so dirty that it was actually pulling stuff through the filter. Man, it's so simple and easy to change an air filter. On of all things, you have no excuse on a Harley Davidson. You have no excuse on a Harley for not doing any maintenance. There's no science to this whatsoever. Just know how to check your oil levels, which this was one of the ones that was grossly overfilled. The oil and stuff already got changed and why well, he's doing that, he's seen the, it needed some other stuff, so. 
a different tack did it upstairs and but the oil was like grossly overfilled they're always overfilled and then you know they complain about you know oil coming out the crankcase breathers you know what never comes out of my crankcase breathers here's where the breathers come out they're on each head even the sports servers are the same way never do you see an oil down air filter not a speck of oil anywhere in my harleys but i never run them with the incorrect oil level in them <laughs> it's nuts it's such a simple thing but uh yeah i mean very user-friendly serviceable motorcycles just the simplest of tools simplest of knowledge you just have to follow the daggum rules it ain't hard to do but uh there's got to be a thousand and one videos on out there on how to do it It's incredible in the evening when the sun is glowing on their chest. That's epic. Well, it's even more yet. <laughs> That's a twister. Well, hello there, YouTube. Actually, got out here while the sun's still up. Yeah. Barely. So mm -hmm. it's about quarter after, maybe 16, 17 after. Is that rapid? I see. Oh. I can't tell. Yeah, little baby rabbit. But um, sunset's at 7.49 tonight. It's amazing how f quick we lose it as based on when the I sunset know. is. So it's it's sure is slow to come to us, but it wants to go away real fast. Yeah, you get the little lingering twilight thing, which is always nice. But anyway, that's a fun day. Mm -hmm. Good Got to ride a Riker. I was going to ride a, a BMW today, too, but I just ran out of time. Just still playing a little bit of catch-up since we were gone. But we're, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. We're going to old hog today. Very cool. Yeah, swapping out some gaskets and stuff. And stuff. Yeah, we'll take that thing for a rip and get her done, too. That thing is some kind of dirty boy. Oh, man. It's crazy. People can let them get that way. It's not, even though it's not the special... Still a street glide. Still yeah. wasn't cheap to buy. No. You know. Oh well. People will do what they'll do. And there's rabbit run down the road yeah. out there. Alright. I think on that we will roll out on you. Alrighty. Well thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time. Same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. Once again it was awesome. Talking to you kind folks from Colorado. Yes, that was very that was nice. Very kind of you yeah. to swing by the old Pro Caliber on your yeah. way back home. That was very nice. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Till tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. <laughs> bye bye.